Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your, um, well, should be weekly, but it's going to be two weeks. <laughs> First half of May reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus Signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. For all the love and support to all my new subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you made it out to the Mystic Market um, last month that came out to get a reading, thank you for your support. It was just a privilege and an honor to be able to meet all of you and, you know, be able to give you guys a reading. So here you go. Let's tap into your energy for the first two weeks of May. I'm doing the first two weeks because I am a little bit late on them, but also because I've got a lot going on and I want to make sure that I cover the first two weeks before I get back into the routine of things. So you've got the two of pentacles, four of swords. Seven of Cups, the Hermit with the Tower, holy cow, the Knight of Wands. The Hermit with the Tower is your, those are your two major arcanas here, the biggest energy of them all. The other cards are your supporting cards. The Hermit card is this feeling of wanting to kind of go within isolation. Just be careful not to stay there too long or it may turn into some sort of depression, withdrawal, not wanting to socialize whatsoever. You know, it's it's okay to, you know, take the time to go within and explore your own solitude and uh, even, you know, detach from, um, you know, situation or just if you're feeling overstimulated with too many things going on and overwhelmed and stressed out, of course, it's okay. You may be feeling like things are about to fall apart for you. I feel like the tower card here is this sudden realization of like, okay, have I taken on too much? Uh, for some of you, and I'm hearing this very clearly, Capricorn, I don't mean to call you out, but Spirit is saying, uh, for those that this resonates with, because it's not going to be for everyone, those of you that are not fully committed in your relationships, it's like you kind of want to, but you kind of don't because it's easier for you not to be in a committed relationship. I feel like there is this energy of, I told myself I was going to take this seriously and I'm coming to that realization of, I can't do this. It's nothing really against them. I feel like there is something within you that you're feeling like you've got to hold back, that you're feeling... Maybe this person isn't going to accept me for me. Maybe this person isn't ready for full on me, Capricorn, right? The Hermit, again, it's going within, but it's tapping into your own inner wisdom, connecting with your higher self and, and truly trying to figure out like what is your inner light, your inner guidance? Where is it guiding you to? And for some of you, if you are just, you know, at that point of having, um, you know, emotional highs and lows or things that have been overwhelming and stressing you out, you could be coming to that sudden realization that this is like a huge awakening for you. You could be going through, um, you know, dark night of the soul, spiritual awakening, or just some sudden realizations that, you know, and I heard it this way, like, shit, it, I've got to change my life around. I've got to do things that aren't going to get me in the same position that I can't stand being. So I feel like at this time, it's almost as though Capricorn, you're calling yourself out point blank period. You're calling yourself out. You're checking yourself. You're at that point of like, why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I get other people involved? I feel like there is this feeling of wanting to do things on your own and not involving other people because you don't want um, and this is how I heard it. So however it may resonate for you, the trail of damage to be affected by your relationships, your family, the people around you. It's like, if I'm going to mess up and I'm going to make mistakes, then I don't want it to affect others. But I need to know that I can make mistakes and grow from it, right? So the tower card is that sudden shock realization an awakening per se, depending on what area of your life, it can also be huge changes. Huge changes uh, could be traveling, uh, could, you know, the Knight of Wands is very courageous and um, very adventurous, huge flirt, 
um, likes to go out, likes to have fun, but is also not very committed when it comes to relationships. This is someone who likes to keep it casual. This is someone who, um, you know, likes to just have fun, situationships, likes to come and go, likes to keep their options open. Uh, for some of you, you could be going within and realizing that the person that perhaps you've been trying to keep it casual with is now pulling on your heartstrings. Two of Pentacles. You know, you've got a choice to make here. It's that balance between good and evil, right or wrong. Is this the right one for me? Should I or shouldn't I? It's that Four of Swords, needing to take that opportunity to really, you know, what's pulling on your heartstrings? What needs to be healed? Are you triggered by something? Is this scaring you? Is this commitment, uh, the, you know, the fear of commitment scaring you and deciding whether or not you truly want to be in a committed relationship? Seven of Cups, a lot of choices, a lot of options. I feel like you tend to go back to the usual um, the usual of non-committal, keeping things uh, easy for you, throwing yourself at in your work, making money over making connections when it comes to relationships. Let's see what came out. Yeah, five of pentacles. You're feeling left out in the cold. You could be leaving a trail of people that fall in love with you that are just, you know, enamored by you, in awe of you, and want a relationship, a connection, want to get to know you better. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. It could be triggered by um, one, you know, a, a one-time relationship that maybe was at the very beginning of your dating life, you know, starting your relationships, uh, could have really broken or hurt you, where now you're thinking, is this where it stems from? Is this why I'm so afraid to open up to other people that keeping things casual and non-committal just seem easier? Because it's easier to hurt someone and walk away from a relationship before it develops into anything than to be left is what I heard. So that does not apply for everyone, right? Could be that time and time again, you're attracting these types of relationships where you think that they are the perfect match for you. But then instead of them moving into something more committed, which may, may or may not be what you want, uh, there's a part of you that kind of withdraws and feels like you need to detach before they hurt you. Temperance card. Now, the energy of really taking things slow, very uh, much alchemizing. Oh, beautiful with a sun card. Yes, we will take that. Okay, the temperance. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous energy here. I mean, that feeling of being guided by source, by spirit. Um, trusting yourself, trusting where the divine, the path the divine is taking you on. I, I do feel like, again, the energy of the feeling I got in the very beginning was um, that sudden realization of I can no longer continue to live the way I've lived, to um, stay in non-committal relationships. Uh, a feeling like perhaps you finally uh, figured out that now you are ready for a much more serious commitment and you're chasing your happiness. You want only what brings you joy, happiness, success, this wonderful feeling of, and I'm seeing it this way as two people that are very much heart centered and feeling grounded, balanced and aligned to the right people. If somebody makes you feel off, if somebody makes you second guess yourself, they could be working through their own things, but they are not your people. If they continuously bring you towards this path of um, unease and anxiety, okay? Let's see what the energy oracle has and look at that. I mean, I cannot make this up. The card of caring connections. So this very much does have to do with your love life, with the connections. Card number 14, guess what, is number five, just like that five of pentacles. So Capricorn, for some of you, it is about finally, you know, setting yourself free of the fear of commitment, the fear of um, not finding love, not finding the right person for you and being open to receiving love, being open to these caring connections and not resisting 
not resisting true love and people that care about you that want to connect with you on a deeper level. Okay. Now for others of you, I do feel that if you were the one that um, felt that it was easier to stay in like casual situationships, non-committal, it's that realization of you think it's time. It's time to take someone more seriously. Maybe you started off letting each other know you weren't interested in something serious. And now you're realizing that maybe you would like something more serious. Those of you that are in, you know, dating and casual connections, uh, seeing what's out there, I do feel like you're going to cross paths with someone that really brings you this nice, warm, happy feeling of, I get it. I understand why I had to keep it the way I did for so many years, because this one is different. This one you can connect with. This one you can trust. And I'm hearing that trust fall that you're hoping to have with someone meaningful someday. It's here. This is not having to worry about whether or not they'll accept you. But they see who you truly are inside and out. And you are loved, Capricorn. I really, really, I mean, look at this. Look at this energy here. Absolutely love this energy here. The sun with the caring connections. This is a beautiful beautiful romantic connection and if you're not looking for love but you are open to meeting your soul tribe people that you really connect with on a soul level this is you know a new circle of friends this is building you know tighter bonds with those people that matter people showing how much they truly care about you and support you i love 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 this energy it's given good vibes for sure, Capricorn. I'm sending you guys so much love and support. Remember to give this a thumbs up, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot. You can find me there for additional content. I post my availability when I open up appointments. And if I'm going to be in any in-person events doing readings, and whatever else <laughs> I feel like offering. Okay, so thank you guys for those that did come to see me at the Mystic Market. I love when you guys do come around and, you know, book a reading with me. It's just so great to connect with everyone. So I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a wonderful week and I will see you guys soon. Take care.